Okay, um, I'm back in Spain this week and I want to talk about drip feeding investments. When I look at a lot of the investments online, what I see is a lot of them want lump sums. They want to have your £5,000, dollars, whatever, um, before they'll even talk to you, which puts people off even considering getting into savings. But if you search around, you'll find some savings accounts which aren't great. They'll, they'll offer 1%, 1.5%, uh, some are low as half a percent if it's, um, what do you call it? It's an easy access account. But the reason these are important is it gets you saving. Um, because you should always have an emergency fund anyway. So you should try and get some investment off it. But also, it's how you get to the bigger money. So for me, at the moment, we've actually got um, just shy of 10,000 euros. Um, and we're building up on it. So that's going to go towards the house, but I'm still trying to think of is there a way I can actually flip it a bit to make some more money uh, in the short term uh, for long term uh, benefit. Because any any money, if we had to get a mortgage, anything I paid in cash is actually saved me on interest. I'd be paying the bank, um, which is why this is important. But in the same way, I'm going to start building my pension fund for retirement. Um, I do not plan on working till 60, 65. I don't care what the government wants me to do. Um, the best years of my life are still now, not when i am got one foot in the grave. Um, so getting ahead now um, would put me in good stead for the future. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine about this recently because uh, I was saying ideally I want about half a million. Um, which sounds like a big number, uh, half a million pounds, but it's not. If you take into account that if you're paying, because I can save up to maybe £10,000 a year. So I can have £10,000 10, plus interest, plus anything I make on top of that on the side, you know, things like the apartments for rent in Spain, the apartments for rent in the Philippines, um, e-books, website money, my PayPal money I make. If you added all that together, um, it builds up quite fast. But then if you get that into an investment and it starts adding interest on it as well, then getting up to that half million gets easier year by year. Um, and that's why drip feedings now, it doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are, now is the time to start if you haven't already because you need to do this. Um, to get ahead. Um, don't rely on the state, don't rely on um, what governments and that tell you. The person who's going to make it happen is you and that's the way you've got to do it. you basically got to fund this yourself. Um, you'll still get your state pension or whatever anyway but it's nice to have more money uh, coming in on a regular basis than what they're offering you on a plate. Um, well, I say on a plate, they rub it blind. Uh, that's why pension funds are a bit panicky in the UK at the moment with these new um, access to people's pension funds because a lot of them get money for sitting on their backside doing very little for just managing the funds so they don't work those too hard but they have bigger investors they do work quite hard for it because they get bigger money off those but when this all changes I can see investments changing a bit where people are going to be looking at for expectations of a bigger return, um, even with smaller investments, because at the end of the day, the pension funds need to be generating more cash for more people. Uh, we've been robbed blind by the government, uh, Labour government robbed it last time. Um, we've had a couple of crashes that have affected the, the stocks and shares, but this also gets into the drip feeding um, ethos. Well, like this week, I put some money in funding circle. Um, I've just opened a cash ISA in the UK where I'm going to be drip feeding money into that every month. Uh, I've got money building up in Spain for buying a property. So there's money being drip fed in different places. Um, also the Philippines is continuing. Um, we've just ordered the windows to finish off the 
remaining apartment downstairs and the, all the, the last windows for the three four bedroom apartment upstairs which is now going out for advertisement for an architect to design a three four bedroom place because I can see that one being easy to rent out while we're away but it will eventually be our home so not renting out to just anybody when it is finished but uh, we are getting it getting an architect in to give us the best um, maximize space so another important point there is as you can see we haven't given up on the philippines we still got a uh, property there we still got family there we still got our uh, summer home we'll call it that um that that's where we'll live uh, when we're out there um we may rent it out like i said still thinking about that because there's a lot of idiots out there i wouldn't lend it uh rent it out to and like, like as i've said before anything i rent out i'm very selective um i just do not need headaches and i don't want somebody whining to me that they've upset one of my relatives um that could make their life difficult um it's just i just don't need the headaches <laughs> You know, the rentals are there to make a small profit for us and at the same time help fund my in-laws in, with stuff they're doing in the Philippines. Um, it's not there to generate my headaches. Um, it's not there for room service. It is for sensible people looking for a nice place to stay, which is quiet, basic, got the internet, got everything you need, but also it's secure and you don't get any problems um but anyway that's another thing but yeah start investing today doesn't matter what it is but if you've got a emergency fund for example get a separate savings account for it get an isa for it with a quick access but whatever you do start building up some cash flow today um because if you don't you'll never do it 20 years ago passed without even realizing you've done nothing all right thanks for watching